We're on the east coast of Central Florida. We're doing a food tour of the most recommended spots along the coast, starting off with Melbourne, Satellite Beach, and finally Coco Beach. We're gonna meet up with my good friend Halim. He's the owner of Village Food Tours. If you're looking for a food tour in Coco Beach, please make sure to check out his content. All right, I'm super hungry, super excited. Let's get it. There it is, Serrato's Italian Market. One of the most recommended delis here. Even though I saw a bunch on the way in, this one's the most recommended. So let's head in here. Let's try their most popular dish. All right, we're here at Serrato's Italian Meat Market in Delhi. This is the Serrato's Deluxe. We added roasted red peppers as recommended. One more look here at the cross section. And you get a choice of sides. We chose the antipasto. This looks amazing as well. Most recommended here. Melbourne. This looks great. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. Down here in Florida, it's hard to find a spot like this. The bread, nice and pillowy. Good amount of prosciutto in there too. Wow. If we didn't have a bunch of more stops, I'd have to finish this. Here we get the empty pasta. Gotta try this. Mmm, mmm. I love the olive oil in here. Might be better than a sandwich. <laughs> when we first came in, I actually saw a lady that bought a box. I think it was like a dozen cannolis. And I thought about, maybe, oh, maybe we should've gotten a cannoli too. But we have so many spots to cover in this food tour that I just thought it was gonna be too much. They brought one out for us. So let's try it out. It looks beautiful, super stuffed. Let's try it. Oh man, I should've watered it. <laughs> Mm. That is delicious. That's one of the best cannolis. Wow. Super rich and creamy, crunchy. I love the shell. Don't forget to order this. Mm. Don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> Daquin Insane Burritos is called. All right. Let me show you guys how this place looks. It's really nice here. Daquin Diego's Insane Burritos. Over here on the coast. I think this is Melbourne or Satellite Beach, one of the two. There you are, this place looks amazing. Lovely, looks like a little hut on the beach. All right, not much to look at yet. But we got the steak insane burrito, double steak, and added guac to it. Can't wait to try this out. Here we go. There was somebody in line there that said we came to the right spot. This is a local lonely place. So I'm glad we're trying it out. Let's see how these burritos are. This steak is really tender. Wow. Come on. Insane burritos. Wow, the guacamole is nice, it's fresh. Take a look at this now. See the beans, see the rice? Huge chunks of steak. I wasn't expecting that. You know, when you go to Chipotle, they got a little like diced steak. Not here. This is like fajita sized steak. Look at this. I'm so happy I came here. Wow. Oh, so tender. So tender. We got some great steak right there. <laughs> I can't wait to try the next spot.
What's up guys? Met up with my boy Halim from Village Food Tours. We're here in Coco. We're about to check out all the food spots they got here. What's up guys? My name is Halim with Village Food Tours, owner and founder. We've been a walking food tour company in the area, Coco Beach area for about four years now. And um, I'm about to show my boy Leo all the awesome spots, some of the places we use on our food tours, some places that are just awesome and amazing that we don't always get to use on our food tours. And I'm gonna give you guys some uh, history and cool facts about this awesome area as well. Welcome to Coco. Coco, Florida, it's um, part of the Space Coast, Brevard County. It's the longest county in the nation, 72 miles long. So right now we're in the middle of Coco. You skip over, um, I'll show you the waterway later. There's two rivers that separate us from Coco Beach. And um, this is the mainland, mainland area and the whole area, um, central Florida pretty much is based upon citrus growing, cattle farming and super luxury wealthy travel. Um, so way back in the day, there used to be one bridge with a turnstile to allow the boats to go to and from. And way back when it used to take like, it would take just to get to Jacksonville two weeks. So as people were traveling, this road right here, Florida Ave used to be Highway 95 back in the day. So because that was the Highway 95, you'd have people migrating south, as far south as you could get on the trains was Titusville. So people would come here, hang out, congregate in the area, wait their turn to cross over on the bridge. And um, so like a lot of the, it's all historical buildings here, but a lot of the buildings used to be like gas stations, service stations. So, and uh, this is Coco City Hall behind us. Oh. Yeah, and I find this anywhere. It looks like the bar is a center of attention. Let's grab a drink. Here you go, triple berry mojito. I like that raspberry on there. Berries, mint. This is looking great. Straight class. Okay, we got the watermelon jalapeno margarita with Patron. This is the Cadillac margarita. Top of the line here. It's amazing, these two drinks. Can't wait to try them out. All right, Halim, do a quick cheers here. All right. All right, Salute. best of luck to you. Many years of success. Thank you. You're welcome. Good All friends, right, good go. drinks. Yeah. Amazing food great coming time up. here. Man, all right, let's taste this. Wow, that tastes just like they said it was going to. Watermelon wow. and jalapeno. Yeah, exactly. You got the nice, like, fresh or crisp in watermelon, and then that kick right. from the jalapeno. Yeah. Catches you on the back Man. of the throat. Man, I love the salt rim on this too. It helps. <laughs> it helps the jalapeno. Triple berry mojito. Looks good. Here we go. Over here. Give it a little mix because I see that the, uh, the berries have gone down here. <laughs> bartender over here man yeah yeah everything so this is marino's place um they've been open about six months or so fairly new uh, marino is back here making all the juices but they hand squeeze everything so all their juices they muddle all their berries this watermelon <laughs> juice came from an actual watermelon not like watermelon flavored anything like that and i'm the jalapenos however they juice that into here that's definitely in here too but all yeah. fresh made ingredients you can tell so, that's yeah. why they're super popular man yep. this place is pretty packed and then at night they turn into a full-on nightclub they move all the chairs out of the way they've got a dj booth up there and it gets it's on and popping awesome can't wait to get to the next spot all right this is osario's in coco about to head inside let's see what the most popular item is on the menu and check it out we're inside here Osario Cafe and Bakery. A beautiful steak going on there. And mushrooms. Caramelized onions. Yeah. That looks amazing. Cheese. Is that mozzarella? Yes. Yeah, a little blue cheese. Steak. Oh, blackening seasoning. the end there. Wow. Black and blue steak pizza. I never heard of anything like it in a wood-fired oven. Hi, I am Emma Kirkpatrick. I'm the managing partner here at Osorio Bakery and Cafe. Uh, we've been here since 2003. We started out 
The idea was to start out as a coffee shop and we just kept expanding when we found cool things to do. So we found a French chef that like that knew how to hand roll pastries. So we added on croissants. Then we found a really cool ice cream case. And so we decided that we had to make ice cream too. And then all of a sudden a wood fire oven showed up and then we decided we were gonna make pizzas and sandwiches too. And so uh, 19 years later, uh, here we are, and we do everything here from scratch. We roll our own croissants, we make all of our flatbreads, all of our doughs, all of our ice cream, roast our own coffee beans, so we consider ourselves a from scratch kitchen. Um, we know everything that goes into all the foods. I would tell somebody that they need to try something that they've never tried before. I personally say, if you've never had one of our sandwiches, you need to try one of those, because it's unlike anything you're gonna get anywhere else. Um, and then you have to taste our ice cream on the way out, because it is to die for. <laughs> thank, you thank you thank you so that is the sarah salad it's a chicken curry salad light curry mayo that they put in there they saute like their onions and vegetables that are in there mix it then it's on a bed of spring mixed with their hand rolled croissant their bakers get here at 4 a.m to hand roll all the croissants and then on there the marbling is their house made balsamic dressing that they put on top of it billet the village black and blue so we've got our mushrooms our steak um, and then like, I think there's looks like a Cajun seasoning on there kind of thing. So flatbread, so that they, they use the same bread on their sandwiches and it just rises in the wood fired oven from Italy that they have. Cheers. Cheers, man. Here you go. Check this out. And you check it out over here too. That's got a lot going on. Oh my God, man. Wow. Wow. I feel like I got, I got shot with a bunch of seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely taste the blue cheese. Definitely. The Cajun seasoning. Really good. I love the texture on this bread. It's very crunchy. So the same um, really bread that they use for the pizza, they use for their flatbread sandwiches. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. So it'll it, it'll basically just be like pizza, but it's folded over, so you've got a sandwich to go on. Okay, so those are going to be amazing too. <laughs> yeah. Chicken curry salad. All right, so I haven't forked yet, so let's cheers. All right. Let's fork it. Ready? All right. Here you go. Oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> wow, it's like a nice curry mayo. You get the curry on there, but it's not like that, like they're trying to force it on you, you know? Yeah, they're trying to introduce you to it. Yep. <laughs> this is amazing. If you're... Wow, I see all that wood over there. That's a good sign. Yeah, so I'll... Um... So we're at Kreiderman Barbecue. They've been here about six years. Um, they were originally um, the owner, Chad and Amy Kreiderman. They started off um, selling plates, like briskets, briskets out of the side of it, like out of their house. The owner, he actually worked at a restaurant. He'd order the brisket from the restaurant, smoke it at home. A lot of trial and error. He taught himself how to do everything on YouTube. Like, yeah, so then they open up this location and it's Texas style. So there used to be a line going around the corner and they'd be sold out by like one o'clock. And that was it. They opened another location down in Melbourne. They had to figure out a way to get their, um, get, get it so it doesn't sell out. So now they don't sell out. So come over this way. And so what they do is, how's it going, man? <laughs> so what they do is they, back here, they've got 2000 gallon smokers. And they smoke all their meats here. They vacuum seal it. They call it redneck sous vide. And uh, they vacuum seal it and then they ship the meat down. They, you could actually order the meat for yourself, but they ship it down to the Melbourne store. And in Melbourne, they make all their sides down there. So he's got some briskets. Yep. Yep. Briskets. Yep. Here, you could come real quick just to. But if you look, those are the 2000 gallon smokers where all the magic happens. And what kind of wood do you guys use? Uh, all oak wood. Oak wood. Mixture. Yeah. Live, red, white. It actually, it's a whole, like, like it's overwhelming looking at that menu. You it don't is. know yeah. exactly. <laughs> Once you've been in here enough times, you get the flow. But also, too, what happens is, like, you're trying to decide. And then, like, they're like, are you ready? Are you ready? And you're like, I don't know what I want. Give me it all. <laughs> 
So they vacuum seal it after smoking it. Yep, that way the biggest thing is the meat, so when the air hits it, it loses its moisture. Oh. So they vacuum seal it and then it's like right next to the they call it and just uh All right, this is our full spread here. Got the brisket, got some ribs, pulled pork, turkey, sausage, comes with pickled onions, pickles, potato salad, mac and cheese, baked beans, and coleslaw. All right, can't wait to try this. I'm super excited, let's get it. Yeah, I'm ready. The brisket's what you gotta try first, man. Brisket, yeah, yeah. first? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. You wanna, we'll cut that one in half if you want. We'll just, or, oh, yeah, oh, wow. oh, you don't, yeah, sorry, I didn't warn you. You don't need a, you don't, you don't need, need a knife. knife here. You don't need. Wow. That was nice. You don't need a knife. There we go. Wow. You don't need a knife at all. Wow. Cheers, my friend. Melted like butter. <laughs> it's, it's, Wow, that fatty cap in there. It just melts with it. It, just... it does. It's beautiful. Nice and smoky. Wow, that's all you taste. It's like a smoky butter. <laughs> yeah, yep. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow. We did the first, the best one first. <laughs> I hope we don't get disappointed. Oh, everything else is good. It's just their brisket is. Here you go, man. Oh man. Wow. You got the bark that's the salt and pepper on it, mm -hmm. but not like you're just. And I believe they use uh, prime beef. Wow, this is so nice. You gotta come try this. You got that snap on the skin. Mm hmm. Nice snap. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. They smoke that too, don't they? Yep. That's so tender too. So tender. And you could, that, they got a meat market next door. You could actually buy. Buy the sausage? Buy the sausages. This turkey, guys. Smoked also. Smoked Everything turkey, is smoked. Yep. Oh, oh, wow. It's hot. Okay. All right. That's still tender, man. It's still phenomenal. <laughs> it's still like it's not bad. That's just my least favorite. <laughs> That's still really good turkey. Not I love dry the at all. On there. Great seasoning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> The name of this episode is Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, Amazing. So tender, juicy. Gator bites. And Halim was saying here that they get the tail fresh here and they slice it up and fry them fresh. They're not triple battered or quadruple battered either. So where should we go for it? A big uh, piece? So, yeah, do a, do a strip. All right. Here we go. Gator I never bites. had gator before. You never had gator before? No. Oh, awesome. First time. That's awesome. why we're here. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's... All right. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a chicken nugget. Yeah. A little bit too weird. It looks like a chicken thigh. Yeah. Look at this. It looks like a dark meat. Like a chicken thigh. It's pretty good. Like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it really, it really it tastes like a dark meat chicken nugget. A little flat piece. Let's see. So what is this? White meat? More of the <laughs> white meat. Yeah, more of the white meat. Gator white meat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey. 
<laughs> Chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> nice texture. It's like chicken. Yep. The texture, the flavor. I don't taste like a fishy flavor. Yep. I gotta eat more gator, I guess. <laughs> as long as, like, it's, it's like fried chicken. It's like chicken tenant, you know? It's, it's, it's. Yeah. So it, it's a really great, unique experience, and it says Florida. Like, you got to try, like, Gator in Florida. Yeah. My own All right, guys, we're done here. If you're going to come out here to Coco or Coco Beach, the area here, what was it, Brevard? Brevard County. Brevard also County. Known as the Space Coast, also known as Countdown City because they changed the area code from 407 to 321. So we call it Countdown <laughs> City, baby, 321. Pop, pop. <laughs> okay, if you're going to come out here, and you're gonna try one thing, you're better off doing a food tour with Halim because then you get to experience everything. He's gonna take you to all the spots we've been to today and possibly more. You're gonna have a great time. We'll put his links in the description. You guys can check him out. Make sure to follow him. Village Food Tours. Anything you wanna say, Halim? Thank you guys so much for watching. My boy Leo here, he's awesome, he's amazing. Keep on watching his videos, dude's awesome. All right, we'll catch you next time.